Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be making a ideal animation for our character. This is probably the simplest thing in this series, so let's get started. So first I want to kind of create a prefab scene for animating. I will press T to remove this panel right here. Then I will go to the upper right corner and I will drag out a new window, go down here and select a dope sheet. This is gonna allow us to animate and we also want to go down here and select the action editor. Most of our animations are gonna have 30 frames so I'm going to set the, the end frame rate to 31 because we are starting at frame 1. Then I will select my armature, press control tab or just go to pose mode down here. And I will also go down here and select location and rotation. I will explain more of this later. But now I just want to go file, save as, and we're going to save this as anim. And now every time we're going to create a new animation, we, we can just open this file and start animating. Since we're going to be creating a idle animation, I'm going to go up here and create a new file. So just save as anim and then idle. And now we can start animating. First I will create a new action down here, so uh, click new and we'll just call it idle and we can start. So if you take a look at a realistic idle animation, you kind of just, the character just kind of breathes. So he inhales, so he, his che chest kind of goes up and then he ex exhales and his chest comes down. So that's basically what we're going to do. We also want to create this animation so it's seamless. So if we just replay it over and over and over again, it looks seamless. And to do that, we're just going to press A to select everything. And then we can press I. So this is going to be our first position. But since it's going to be seamless, we're going to go on our last frame, which would be 31. And we're also going to press I. Let's say we add something here and if we play it, you can see that it always comes back and it just kind of repeats. Now what we want to do is go to the 16th frame, which is our middle frame. So in the middle, we're going to make our character inhale. So just select this bone and press R and X and we're just going to rotate it a bit. Once you rotate it, just press I to insert a keyframe. And now you can play it with um, Alt A or just go down here and click this. And you can see that he kind of inhales and exhales. Now obviously we can add a bit more detail to this. Since his chest moves a bit backwards, I also want to select the arms and move them a bit backwards like this and press I. And now play it, looks much better. I'll also go here and take this forearm bone and just rotate it on the Z axis a bit like that. Press I, rotate it on the Z axis, I. And now if you play it, you can see that it looks a bit more fluid. I think the right arm is a bit too much maybe, so I'll just bring it back a bit and now play it, that's better. Obviously you can go and add more detail. For example, if I want to change my starting frames and my end frame, for example, I can move his legs so they're not completely straight, but they're a bit um, facing outwards. I can do that by selecting this pole target bone and I can move it and then it moves the leg. So I'll just press shift tab to make it easier and then move it only once and do the same thing on the other side. Make sure you're selecting your first frame here and then just select these two bones and press I. Press Ctrl C to copy the, these bones and then go to the last frame and paste them and again press I. And now you can play it and his legs are a bit facing outwards. So This is a very simple idle animation. Make sure you save. And in the next episode, we're going to be making a running animation. So hopefully this helped you. And if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.